take the round whether there's a male there or not, kind of like a chicken or like a duck would. It just won't be fertilized, so nothing would hatch out of your eggs, obviously. All right, guys, that's it for today. Be looking out for our second video. The second video in this three-part series is going to be all about how to hatch the eggs. So how to incubate the eggs and then how to hatch the eggs. So be looking for that. That'll be dropping next week. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned because we've got a lot of stuff upcoming. Temperatures are on point. You have a warm end, cool end, clean water, proper bedding for my corn snakes. All of them I use the Refuge Chip Premium Coconut Substrate. You have a lot of options. Some people will use Aspen. Some people use plain old newspaper. You have to find out what works for you to achieve the environmental parameters needed to support a corn snake. The last thing you want to do is make the mistake. He's sort of hesitant versus this other corn snake which strikes and immediately grabs that pinky. The snake that strikes and grabs a pinky right away is definitely a snake that I would recommend you look into purchasing over one that is more hesitant. You're simply going to have a better experience with that snake. You're not going to run into as many issues with that snake. And overall, it's going to be a much better pet. If you're an experienced hobbyist, you already know what you're doing. But this is mainly, like I said, a video that I wanted to do.